What is going on you guys? It is Eric from the Anabolic Aliens. Today we're here to talk about some nutrition on the channel because you guys wanted to know what you should be eating before you head to the gym, before you work out, before you do your at-home workout, before you do your cardio, before you go to your athletic event, basically any type of physical exercise. You guys wanted to know what you should be eating. So we're going to talk about that today. As a little disclaimer in the beginning of the video, just understand that everyone is going to be different. Everyone is going to want different foods. So there is no one meal that you should be eating before you head to the gym. So I'll give you some recommendations in this video, but there's not like one thing that you can just do that just magically works every single day. And not only, that would just get super boring too. So I wanna give you some variety, give you some ideas to think about, use your own little noggin up there to make sure that you can make your own decisions to what you should be eating before you work out as well. Let's talk about when you should be eating. So you should be eating about two to three hours before your workout that's just a little bit of comfortable time give your body some time to digest a bigger meal because during this time we want to be eating a bigger meal so two to three hours will give you plenty of time to digest all your foods your proteins your carbs your fats you're eating a big meal during this time because by the time that is up and your workout comes around it will all be absorbed and digested and you'll be ready to work out and you'll feel good now if you have less time so let's say you get under about an hour you're in an hour until your workout Obviously, you want to eat something smaller. Now, you have to understand your body here. Which foods agree with you and don't sit with you? Basically, when I say they don't sit with you, they don't give you that nasty effect, like when you drink too much water too quick and you can feel like the, the water and the fluids, like everything's swishing around in your stomach. Find a food that doesn't cause that. Eat enough of it to make you feel satiated but not full and then head to the gym. Let me give you some examples for the bigger meal, so the two to three hour window. What you could be doing is just your traditional meal plate here, guys. You have your protein source. Now that can be chicken, that can be fish, that can be, if you're a vegetarian, it could just be beans, nuts, legumes, whatever you get your protein source from, tofu, it does not matter. So you have your protein source on your plate. I really do not care which type of protein it is as long as it works for you and agrees with your body. Then you wanna find a carbohydrate source. Now that carbohydrate source could be something like brown rice, whole grain bread, oatmeal, any sort of vegetable that has some carbohydrate content that isn't basically negative based on your digestion. We'll get into that in a different video. But you wanna find something that's going to stick with you for a longer time, digest over a longer period of time. So these low glycemic, slow digesting carbohydrates, like sweet potatoes, for example, is another one that you can eat because you have plenty of time to digest them before you get to the gym. Then for your fat source, this can be pretty much anything. You can add oils to your chicken. If you really are not in competition mode, you can have your nut butters. Just find a fat source that works for you. So your protein source could also be like an egg, which will also have fats in there as well. Just make sure it's a very well-balanced, rounded meal. Also make sure you get some sort of fruit or vegetable in there as well that will add extra carbohydrates and extra micronutrients because it is just not all about macronutrients, people. We wanna be healthy too, right? So let's take a look on the other side now. So we have the one hour before you work out. This is a very simple one. This actually happens to me a lot. So I have a lot more experience in this area because usually I'm pretty cut short for time because I run around with a bunch of jobs. Uh, like a, I'm sure a lot of you do too. Uh, what I like to do during this time period is my, I have two defaults. You know, I take some whole grain bread so whole wheat bread and I'll add some sort of like nut butter to it and then I'll eat a piece of fruit or I'll just take like an apple, uh, cut it up, put some almond butter or some peanut butter on it depending on, you know, my goals for that week and such of uh, that nature, like a banana, something that's going to digest and not be like overwhelming, but enough that's going to keep me full. So a really good example for this could be like a protein bar um, with some sort of carbohydrate content, unless your protein bar already has a lot of carbohydrate content, but an apple with let's say almond butter. So you slice up your apple, uh, you cut it up, you dip it in the almond butter, this will get you your protein, this will get you carbohydrates, and this will get you your fat, but it won't make you feel disgusting, but it will keep you just you know, full enough so you can hit your workout super hard and also give you some micronutrient content because fruits are a lot healthier than some other things that you could possibly be eating. Another key point, guys, is during that two to three hour window, you also don't wanna to eat to the point where you're incredibly full. You know, stop when you don't feel like you wanna eat anymore because we don't wanna be feeling disgusting because that two to three hour window, I mean, if you've eaten a lot over a long period of time, you know how long that fullness can possibly last. And the last thing you wanna do is have a super, super full stomach when you're going to do your squats, your deadlifts, or your high intensity cardio, or even your low intensity steady state cardio, either one, you don't wanna be super full. And that's gonna about sum up this video. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, it's overcomplicated, guys. When you go to work out, just make sure you're eating enough food. Give yourself enough time if you can. If not, make the most out of what you have. 
So I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more good videos like this coming on the channel. Obviously our top five series is going to continue and I also wanna make sure I include more nutrition videos on the channel because both Mike and I have a great background in nutrition science. Mike's finishing up his degree at UNH. I graduated last year with my degree in nutritional science from the University of Massachusetts Lowell. So we wanna bring more of that element to the channel. So I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys look forward to seeing more of it. If you have some subject ideas, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. We do kind of have a schedule already set, but we're always looking to add new ideas and maybe even possibly change in and out those ideas. So I hope you guys liked this video. I already said that one time, but I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.